Hi everybody, it's Nicole, also known as the King's Daughter, and sitting before me is John Dodsworth. Hi, John. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to talk to John today because John has finally found what he loves to do. Or he's actually doing what he loves to do, and that's, what is that, John? Writing. Writing. You love to write. I, I write fiction, okay, mm -hmm. and it's not Ernest Hemingway fiction. It's mm -hmm. not Charles Dickens fiction. You know. It's John's fiction. And don't, and don't get me wrong, those two are amazing writers, mm -hmm. okay? But yeah. we live in a different world today. Correct. Our attention spans have been zapped down to zero, thanks to technology, thanks to Twitter, thanks to Facebook. I mean, we're on a, That's what's going diet, on? Yeah. What's the update? What's going on? So, my writing is stream of consciousness, okay? It's real, mm -hmm. and it's, it's harsh. And uh, it's also kind of funny, too, at times. So, yeah. what I try and do is, let you escape for a minute and think about things, you know, in a different way. Beautiful. Now, usually um, at this age, uh, it's, it's, it's not what you're doing full time, but it's what you want to do right now. Um, you're still young, but I want to know if there was a trigger behind you starting to write. Well, um, I fell in love. Oh, love. So beautiful. The worst poison. <laughs> um, so, you know, we broke up. It was my first love. And uh, eventually, I, uh, we did the, we did the hookup thing again after we broke up mm -hmm. and I woke up one morning in her bedroom uh -huh. and she didn't want her roommates to know I was there. Okay. Oh. So I'm going, okay, I'll be the hero. It's no problem. I'll jump out your window. <laughs> okay. It's a second story okay. window. Yes. Let's just get this straight. And, uh, wow. you know, midair, midair I'm going, oh dear. <laughs> You know, and I ended up uh, shattering my heel. Wow. My left yeah. heel. I, uh, it looks like a 80 year old man's heel to this day. And Maybe I, I not have quite the momentum. <laughs> <laughs> I have arthritis in it. Yeah. And, and that's fine because guess what? That's what? part of me and that's yeah. part of the emotion that I felt and that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. And that's what triggered. Well, well, it, gave you, it gave you enough downtime to start thinking about writing? Yeah. What well, I said? At the same time, during my recovery, mm -hmm. I happened to write a novel. Beautiful. Okay. And, and so the novel is about that first love. Yeah. Can you ever recapture it? You know? Yeah. But it has a little is bit. Is it ever the same twice? You know what I mean? And mm. it's a scary thing to think about. But you will find true love again. And you'll do that through more writing, right? Well, and that is my love right now. That is your love right now. It's my escape. It's, you know, I've had a bad mm. day. Guess what? Write out a couple words. Right. You'd be amazed the release you get from that. And that's that's what I'm talking about with the passion. When you have passion, you can't quench that. When you have something that's, and, and writing has become your outlet, more oh, or absolutely. less. So that's perfect. Well, now, what about the person uh, that, that they're not sure about what they want to do in life, or have been able to find that one true thing that they're excited about? Be it first love or a gift. What would you tell that person? Don't. Don't wait. <laughs> don't break be, your leg. <laughs> Trying to find it. Don't, don't jump, jump out of the window. Don't jump out of girl's window. Okay? Yeah. Don't do that. But, but, but yeah. don't pretend to be, you're saying? Sorry. Don't pretend to be anyone you're not. Beautiful. Okay. I mean, it's something I've only realized. I'm only 25, but my high school life, you know, I, I was pretending to be someone I wasn't because mm -hmm. that's what I thought was necessary. Mm -hmm. And so I never talked about my writing. I never talked about wow. The stuff I was doing mm -hmm. when no one was around. Interesting, you know I mean? yeah. And and like now that I'm actually starting to talk about it, you wouldn't believe how much better my life has become. Beautiful. And, and it's not necessarily because of the writing, but it's because you're open and it's yourself and you're comfortable with yourself, and that's all that matters, guys. That's all that matters. Very, very good advice. That is so true because now people can relate to the true John, the true you. And they can also find you where, if they want to read some of your stories, your short, your short uh, stories you have online right now? Where is that? Right now, I have short stories up on uh, goodreads.com. It's all free. Beautiful. Uh, and you know, it's all about getting the message out there yeah. at this point. I have novels coming. Watch for it, guys. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, yeah. I don't want to put them there yet. All right. Because it's not ready. Sounds fair. Now, so I would like to, you know, in talking with you, I know that you're on the rise, that's why I really wanted to talk to you. You found what you love and you're there. So in a few seconds, I'd like you to tell me your full name and say simply, I'm on the rise. 
My name is John Dodsworth, and I'm on the rise. Thank you.